Last little dig for him. He's going to go over the top and then cruise in uh, Alberto Contador. But look at this. Uh, the push from Chris Froome in the company of Wood Pools is uh, narrowing the gap with 1,200 metres to go. Half a minute only shot. Yes, and uh, it is coming down oh. uh, rapidly as we can see here. Uh, Contador just having a little bit of difficulty in the corner. You can see the wet road as well, the gradient here. If you get out of the saddle, you know, you can start losing traction very quickly and and we can see Contador's, you know, he's going to be made aware of this, he's going to be concerned because we can see the gap is coming down, still 1.1 uh, 1 .1 kilometers to finish, it does uh, ease off in the last couple of hundred meters, so that will be uh, very much welcomed by Contador. Well, Chris Froome uh, is a friend of Alberto Contador, but Mark Pauls has been allowed to go, has he? Uh, uh, only if uh, Froome says so, uh, you can believe that. Spins it up yet again, high cadence for Chris Froome, it looks like he may well sprint it home. 25 seconds, the gap between Froome and Alberto Contador. Froome's got a man with him. Alberto Contador has just got Spain's best wishes, and he has a look, a tentative look, of course, across the hairpin here to see who's coming up after him. He knows it's Chris Froome. He knows it's the red jersey. He's been into the red himself as well. He's used to this. He's getting to the hoarded section, which will be a bit kinder for him in terms of the fans, and a security bike waits up for, uh, for Chris Froome. Uh, for uh, uh, Alberto Contador, I beg your pardon. Here is uh, Zacharin a little bit further back down. And Zacharin himself is going to take a huge leap forward as well. Nibali's well behind him. So is Kelderman. It'll all come down to the mathematics of it all at the very end. Chris Froome will be uh, potentially even getting some bonus seconds here today. So will Alberto Contador. And I believe he's going to get himself a podium position right now. Uh, Zacharin's trying to put that fire out. And here he is grinding in. He's extended his lead over Chris Froome. Uh, tentatively then to 32 seconds and this is where it starts to flatten but it's not been it's been anything but in terms of the, the performance here it's been absolutely amazing everyone's getting involved emotionally he's on the crest and now it is indeed of a wave of emotion Sean what a rider Yes, well, what a ride he's putting in, and uh, he's really having to push on here because he knows that uh, Chris Froome and uh, World Pools are starting to push on, and we can see the cars also, the Mavic neutral, or the uh, Shimano neutral car, sorry, uh, was pulled over as well, so that means that, you know, they're aware that they are coming up, but we can see here, he's on this section now where it goes down a bit, you can see in the background, uh, he, he has a nice advantage still, 27 seconds, uh, which uh, just under... Uh, 500 meters to the finish. Alberto Contador is bringing it home and Chris Froome is bringing home the double. The Tor Welter double. You won't hear that said very often in uh, in your lifetime, I am sure. But we're going to say it today. And look at that, there they are in the same picture. And it's Alberto Contador, the last 300 metres or so of what has been an absolutely stellar performance. You expect nothing else. He's a man who thrives on the grand stages. It's his last grand tour stage day, however, Sean. And he's climbed himself into the hearts of many here. Yes, well, we did see right through this well that you know, the support he has and uh, he's just you know uh, finished off this race what an amazing performance here with this back he's put up in this final climb Alberto Contador fires off the pistol and it starts for everyone else the clock behind him Chris Froome comes home to make it a grand tour double the Tour de France and La Vuelta and they charge the bike just push the bars forward as if it's in a sprint what Pauls does a great job as well Froome has an enormous grin on his face and indeed so do we and I think that Zacharin as well might well also be in an extraordinarily happy place I think he's managed to secure himself a podium here because uh, Contador won't, uh, won't at least push him off that spot. But the clock